Oh my god, I didn't realise how bad. It's quite intense though. Why? Why am I like this? Tell me why I'm like this, please. I'm well rounded. Good morning. Good morning. Who's a morning person? Me. Yes, I'm a morning person. Right, guys, we're going to Brighton today. I'm going to see my friend Hannah. I met Hannah when I was travelling in Laos. This was like all those years ago. And we only spent like a very, very short amount of time together. Then we ended up meeting up again in Vietnam. Good morning. Good morning, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god for a very short amount of time again and then we just stayed in touch literally like used to voice note all the time hold on a minute oh, i can't even see shit i actually need to get my glasses out i can't fucking see them i also need to get my fucking driving glasses out don't i um what's it saying oh yeah hannah my oh these aren't the right ones I'll just put them down there for a minute these are the ones that i want there's these ones yes apologies if we're if i'm all over I, well all over the place i just get a bit excited when i talk about stuff yeah so where, where was i oh yeah so we were talking every day pretty much because she she continued her her travels down uh in blah, blah. she continued her travels to the philippines I continue to travel to Australia and then New Zealand. We saw each other for the first time in 2022, I think it was. She was visiting the UK with her partner. So they come and stayed with me for the night in Glastonbury, which was so, so nice because Hannah had never been to Glastonbury. And Eddie has obviously never been to Glastonbury because he's from Australia. So it's just really cool to be able to show them around places. And obviously Glastonbury is a fucking cool place. Hannah put something on her story the other day that she was in Brighton. I was like, oh my God, you're home. Where are you? How so she was like you can either come to brighton or meet me in london at some point and i was like i'll come to brighton i don't really know brighton that well i've been to london loads i think we're gonna have a little birthday picnic for her because her birthday's on the 8th of august my little leo babe so excited to see her literally i'm so excited so i'm gonna vlog the whole thing because we're we we love a time capsule and i love making vlogs so it's a win-win really i might stop at starbs grab a little coffee and then just get on my way because it's like a two hour drive i'm not even sure if starbucks is open right now it is quite early it is literally like 20 past seven yeah it must be okay but um i actually will be there quite early what is that noise what is making that noise i don't usually have a coffee this early but like i just feel like i need the stimulant to just get through the drive i don't know guys should i listen to a podcast or should i listen to some music what can I do? I don't even know what I'm going to drink, to be fair. What am I going to have? So there's creme brulee and iced brown sugar. That sounds nice. Creme brulee and brown sugar frappuccino. That actually does sound banging, to be fair. Frapp though, isn't that like a cold one? I don't know if I want a cold one. Do I want a cold one? Can I just get... Oh, I don't know whether... The iced... Mm. Let's just go for the creme brulee and brown sugar frappuccino with with oat milk, but it's fine that it's got milk in it. If that's right, sorry to be complicated. Thank you. Thank you. I find it really hard to make decisions sometimes, guys. It's uh, actually a struggle for me. When there's like loads of options, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Hi, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, shit, sorry. Could I get a medium? medium. Go for a medium, yes, thank you. Oh, that does look banging. <gasps> Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> that actually, I'm glad I went with that now. Thank you, love. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you, and you. Right, let me just get myself together. Look at this, guys! Looks like it actually looks really nice, so buzz in, buzz in, buzz in! Quickly taste test. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry for the wobble. Wobbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly. I am so excited for you to see Hannah again. She's actually on my Lao vlog. So if you go way, way back in my channel, back to 2019, I think I posted it. If you want to see that, go check it out. I have loads of travel vlogs from like my travel times. It's actually the videos I enjoy doing and creating the most, to be honest. Like I actually enjoy making vlogs more than anything because I just find it so much fun. And it's such a nice memory. And I just love memories. Like I'm proper like big on like video memories more than photo memories. Like I actually rarely take pictures now. I'm mostly just, oh my god, Hannah has just texted me saying drive safe. I mostly just take videos and I love it because, yeah, when I'm editing it back, I forget half the time what, like, me and the person have spoke about or, like, just what I've said or what I've experienced. I just always find it so fun. Like, I posted a video of me and Camilla's last day in Malta yesterday. I just had so much fun editing it because it was just so funny and we just had such a good time. It's the lifestyle side of content that I just love and it's a big part of my channel that I want to bring forward again even more. 
Look who it is. Look at her. She's beautiful. <laughs> everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hannah, my I'm, darling. Welcome yeah. home. I know. It's I'm like, so happy to see you. I'm on home, but I, I'm at home, but I'm on holiday. Yeah. And the weather is perfect. Oh, my God. I'm so happy about this. I hate spending money on my job. Yeah, it's I'm really so with you on that. You need your car when you have it long term. You should treat just... it like a house. But I'm like, pop holes. So <laughs> I'm terrible at directions, so this is gonna be fun. Okay, just just point. Where does your mum live then? Does she live? She far? lives oh, like really? countryside. It's so cute, Lauren. Oh, I'm oh, so good. It's been like my little base, which has been good because living in Brighton is not the one. It's so stressful. Is it because it's busy or? Yeah, I'm just not used to it. Hannah, I've done barely any exercise or walking. I feel like I've been indoors for like the last month and a half. Because oh. I had my operation. You know, it was like, operation? Yeah, it was to find out if I had endometriosis. Shit. So I literally was just like laying flat for like two weeks straight. I ended up in hospital last week. But then they were like, oh, it's not related to your operation. We don't know what it is. I was just like, oh, great. So I could do with a good old walk. Well, <laughs> you're in the right place. <laughs> not on a hill. I'm not used to hills. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm oh my god. Why am I driving like an absolute spastic? I'm not driving like this. You're an amateur. Like I literally have not drove like this. I'm not used to all these hills. They look cute. I do love a tortoise shell. I don't think they suit my face, and every time I put them on, I'm like, no, these look a lot better on my face, but they really suit you. Do you want them? I mean, I'll take them. <laughs> and then we nice can have matching. Yeah. Oh. Hey. I'm so fucking stoked you're here. I honestly. Cheers, my love. Cheers. Thanks, thanks. I'm always late to my own events. <laughs> I will yeah. just be there when I'm there. <laughs> I can't. I get really overwhelmed when people are asking me loads of questions. They, oh, what should I bring? What time? And I'm like, ah. Uh. We have literally just cooked. Well, Hannah's mostly cooked. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get any footage. My bad. This is Hannah's room. Okay. Where's Wally's crossing the road? How's the wine, Hannah? It's so good, isn't it? Well rounded. Yeah, right? It's like perfectly sweet, perfectly mellow, perfectly smooth. What do you think of it? It's nice, isn't it? It's really nice. We're rating this wine from Snoop Dogg. It is yeah, amazing. Yeah. Highly recommend from Sainsbury's. Get it. Did you get it from Sainsbury's? Yeah, man. They always have it on offer. It's usually like £12, but this was like 10 Oh my God. I didn't realise how... It's quite intense, though. It's burns! Oh my God, it's burns! From the day you stole my heart I tried to vlog as much as I could, but it's literally so hard because I'm just having such a nice time. And I was just catching up with friends. I'm just kind of enjoying the time. It feels like I'm on holiday because it's so warm today. Have you enjoyed yourself, Hannah? Is it everything I wanted? Aw, I love this. Yeah, it feels weird that we're back in Australia soon. I don't know. Found too much, found too much. Oh, bye-bye. Good night, guys. Nice to meet you. Thanks for driving. Aww. Drink the wine, enjoy the wine, drink the wine. It's red oh, wine, the best wine. I was 
not look, I was not expecting to enjoy it because I'm a real mm. wine labels girl and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy drinking wine from Snoop Dogg's wine trust me but what did you think I really enjoyed it it's fucking good isn't it it's my favorite wine this is the wine Cali Red <laughs> Snoop Dogg buy it try it you'll love it it's great Salad at that place. Did we go there too? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. In the granary, they get things. Thank you. 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 This bit looks really hard and crusty. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it as much. Oh yeah, the crunch. What do we reckon? I feel like I need to do like the next bite because <laughs> that was just like really hard just bread. Spread. Right. Get it doing you. I'm going to shove another bit in. Good egg and press. Mm -hmm, mm. That's really good. Oh my God. I'm actually going to give that like a four out of 10. Wow. That's Wait, actually really nice. Four out of 10? That four out of five. Oh, I meant <laughs> Wow. Wait a minute, that's really low. Sure. <laughs> no, four down. out of five. Maybe I should do it out of ten then. So maybe we'll say an eight out of ten for the, that's good. the mayo. Nice. Do you want to try some? Right. You can't, can you? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I, I'm fine. I'm not hungry. I am full. Well, that's pretty good. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Arc rights I've, of Britain. I've basically forgotten to vlog like the past morning. I mean, what have we done this morning? All we did was lie in bed and chat. Yeah. And then suddenly it's like almost midday. We got ready. We left. We went and grabbed a coffee. Coffee and a singer. And then we've walked here. I'm going to give Lauren a tour of the local parks <laughs> until we get back to the car and then we'll be on the road. We had to park 25 minutes away, didn't we? But it's uphill, so we'll take it as 30 minutes from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We'll do the scenic oh, route. Yeah. It's going to be cute. had to get ice lollies because I'm dying. I'm gonna be dramatic, but fucking hell, it is, it is beautifully hot. It's stunning, not complaining, but also complaining. <laughs> yeah. A lot. Because we're walking up a hill in the sweating heat, which is like meant to reach 30 today, I am literally <sighs> tired. Look at this cute little park. Oh, it's so nice. Look at my sunburn. Hannah said I've got a bib. I found your old troll bib. <laughs> it does fully like bib. Literally. Fully <laughs> I think I'm gonna have like a sock tan by the end of this trip. Get your shoes and get your feet on the grass. Mm -hmm. Oh, thing. Oh, breeze between my toes. <laughs> She's got like the most fucking fluffiest, hottest <laughs> shoes ever. Winter boots. Literally, and socks. I didn't oh, quite realise that couldn't. they were furry on the inside. But look. They're gonna be great when it's cold. We've got about 10 minutes and then we're gonna have to head. But I thought, we could have a little chat about how me and Hannah met. Because like me and Hannah really haven't. Like if we if we zoomed out and like looked at the broader spectrum of like how much we've actually hung out, we haven't spent much time together if we actually look at it. Have no. We? And like the amount of hours of our lives. Like, yeah. Minimal. Maybe like two and a half to three weeks maximum. Maybe not even. Yeah. I don't know. Well, actually, let's start from the beginning. My friend Luke that I met, he's actually not far from where I live. When I was going traveling, I was meeting him out in Pai in Thailand. And then when I got there, he told me about Hannah and he was like, you'd get on with her really well. And then me, Luke and our friend Zoo, who you would have met in the Lao vlog. If you've seen the Lao vlog, go check it out. We went over to Lao and then met Hannah. Was it Luak? Um, Luang Prabang. Yeah. Because you guys, you did the boat. Mm. I was stuck in Myanmar at that point and I was trying to meet you because I wanted to do the boat. Anyway, long story short, I had to fly to Laos. I couldn't do the boat. So I met you guys in Luang Prabang. You'd done the overnight. Was it was like a two night boat trip. Yeah, from really cool. Wherever it was to where Thailand into Laos. Yeah. And then I met you guys in Luang Prabang. Mm. We didn't really hang out that much there, did no, we? No, I don't remember spending time. I maybe met you. Yeah. But it wasn't until like Don Det. Because I stayed in the for Bang longer. You guys went down ahead of me while you were yeah. doing other shit. And then I did a few days in the north of Laos. And then I joined you guys in Dondet. Yeah. And that was 
so nice. That's, how, when, how our, that's when our romance bloomed. <laughs> <laughs> how long were we there? We were, we, well, me, Luke and Zoo were there for two weeks and I'm pretty sure yeah, you got there. I think pretty, I did it I'm so, I was so glad when Hannah came along mm. because I was just having a bit of stress, wasn't I? I was just like, there was a big thing that happened before we went to Don Dare. People nearly got arrested. It was, it was quite scary. So, <laughs> remind me? Do you, so... Oh my god, I can't remember what the place was called, but it was like midway down, and they, and they nearly got arrested right, because of something that they found. Yep, yeah, right, right. I do remember. And then so there was, it was a commotion like Luke, in the yeah. Luke and Zoo got into some trouble. Yes, it could have been really. Bad. And literally got taken to the police station, got fined loads of money, but it didn't just happen to them. It happened to quite a few people that same night. Right. So when that happened, it was honestly a bit of a nightmare. I told them I was like, I'm not traveling with you guys anymore. <laughs> I was like, we'll go down to John Depp, but like that's the last time I'm. I need to like you know. Okay. I need. I didn't come traveling to like be on edge thinking that I'm going to get arrested and stuff it's like not okay so mm. and then Hannah was there we went for like that long bike ride didn't we, we just yeah go for bike so rides cool. we went on that little boat trip to see the pink pink dolphins yes canoeing yeah we went canoeing <laughs> kayaking kayaking and we were stuck at the back of the group yeah yeah but they saw us both and they were like you two are small you're gonna be slow and we were they were trying to make us go with someone else weren't they like yeah. one of the guys and we were like no we're doing this together we can do it together and we did great didn't we like we didn't fall in but loads of them fell in true 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 so that was so fun so we I really enjoyed that that was cute and then we went on this insane mushroom trip together. Yes. Um, that's on the vlog. That's oh, in the is. vlog. Yeah, it like, is. right, right, right. That when we're on the chicken time. island. Yeah. It was like one of the best days of my life. <laughs> so amazing, wasn't it? Uh, it was so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. We timed it so that we were kind of coming back down with the sun. Oh, the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> like, I thought there was hundreds of chickens on this island, but it turns out I was just, there was like two. There, what? there, there was, was a lot. lot. There wasn't that many. Mate, there was quite a lot. Okay. There was definitely because remember there was like four babies and we were yeah. like oh it's just them and then loads of the bigger ones came out like later on. I thought I was tripping. When I no mate, okay, you weren't tripping. Like... <laughs> were I thought I could... there. When I tell people this story, I'm like you know I was with three friends that I met and we basically got a mushroom shake. We got a boat out to this tiny little miniature like literally it's a miniature island which was a chicken island and there was only chickens yeah. inhabiting this island. People are like. <laughs> Yeah, I think okay. we just, like we convinced the guy from the hostel or something to just take it. It was like you could mm. like you could probably swim it, but you're not gonna swim in that river. Like keep just no. like sure. we did we did swim in it though. Can you remember? I went in. <laughs> I thought I could walk on water. You had your hands like straight down and you go, there was like jelly. I like jelly. <laughs> jelly And I just I you can picture it. And it genuinely was like really thick, wasn't it? Oh good so times fun. we went back together you guys went off I think you went ahead to Vietnam, like you were on your little mish and I I don't know what I was doing. We got the bus together. Yeah. And then from you on it yeah and then we parted ways at like the bus station were you going to vietnam yes i'd flown up to the north in hanoi so i got I'd... stuck at the border because it was public holiday and then the border mm. was closed so i was stuck in laos and then i did a land crossing into the middle yeah vietnam and then i met this american guy and we traveled up and i met you and we went to the lap the lap yeah the bike ride mm. and stumbled across loads of ducklings, oh, ducklings. <laughs> like hundreds of ducklings i just remember we were cycling for ages and then just like in the mountains with like lakes around mm -hmm. very like in the middle of nowhere it was just us two that day i'm mm -hmm. pretty sure but we stayed in like the most random place in the middle of nowhere and then we parted ways from there didn't we i went to cambodia first didn't i and then i went to bali but me and hannah only from that point ended up just voice noting yeah, like throughout the constantly. rest of our travels it was so comforting we'd had this experience we knew that we were like soul sisters and it was just like nice to communicate and then the next time was you coming been... to Glastonbury yeah two years ago pretty much yeah it was the last time we saw each other and mm. it's been really good so last time I was here my partner and I visited Lauren in Glastonbury stayed with her and this time she's come mm. to Brighton to stay with me which is where I'm from so that's what we're doing little tour and here we are eating ice cream in the park that I used to come to as a kid it's pretty cool <laughs> brown circle <laughs> like I honestly I love this girl to pieces she's a babe and I cherish her massively we talk a lot when we start yeah. we don't stop <laughs> yeah and Hannah's a real one like she's actually a real authentic true person that's like just you get what's given basically like straight up i love that and um, hannah's living the life now in australia next vlog will be from australia <gasps> when lauren comes to visit i really will like to do that 
at some point in my life maybe when I'm a financially free person however long that takes when I did Australia I don't think I did it right I think I went to the places that people were saying you would really enjoy this place and then I'd go there and I'm like oh it's actually not my vibe because I went to Melbourne and I stayed in St Kilda and it just wasn't for me it was just too there was too much partying too many people on drugs like a lot of homeless people it's actually really sad and quite like scary and sketchy being in the city like I felt most unsafe in Melbourne than I did traveling Asia oh, so but Hannah she did it right didn't you? well I just arrived and then stayed in one place <laughs> <laughs> but the right uh, place yeah northern rivers guys that's where it's at mm. actually stopped because there's a beach there called New Brighton and I was like yay it's like where I'm from and then it actually was like wait this is sick and then lockdown happened and then X, Y, and Z, and here we are, applying for my residency four years later. But Just living the life, ma'am. Just living the life like it's golden, living the life like That's my golden. story. We're going to have to shoot now, but this is like Hannah's time to say goodbye to the peeps. Bye. It's been lovely having her on the channel. I absolutely love doing vlogs with my friends and just experiencing new things and having you guys meet the beautiful people in my life. So I'm going to take a walk to the car, drive down to the flat, pick up the stuff, and then I'm going to drop Hannah off down the road. And then I'm going to head home. And then I've got a wedding dress fitting later to see my friend getting dressed up in all these glamorous wedding dresses which i'm actually really looking forward to That'll i feel like it'll be so much fun i've never done that before so that's gonna be fun thanks for having us han you're welcome thanks for <laughs> coming <laughs> it's been great it's been good fun you're welcome <laughs> you're one of my good i don't know how to do this i'm so super awkward <laughs> i'm not going yet though today today we're gonna we're gonna go wedding to be dress continue. tbc love you bye why why am i like this tell me why i'm like this please so we've walked all this way car's probably like how far from here 10 minutes, ten minutes. The car's about 10 minutes from here and i up the hill can i just say the, the hill we did the hill yeah and now we have to walk back down the hill because she doesn't have a car key <laughs> i only just realized i was like hold on a minute i didn't pick my car key up this morning i don't think i've got my car key so we just walked all this way for nothing really i my bad i mean i'm not in a rush but I'm in a rush. You're in a rush. <laughs> Guys, I think I just got excited about going outside. Excited about a nice coffee and I was like, yeah. I think I know exactly where it is as well. Oopsie. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've just realised I fucking have lost my bottle as well. I know exactly where it is, but whether it's still there or not, I don't know. <laughs> I was just like talking to Hannah about the keys. And then I was like, oh my God, my bottle. Where's my water bottle? I've left that at the park where we sat and I ate my egg mayonnaise. Forget. <gasps> Too involved in egg mayonnaise. Me, my forgetfulness is getting worse. No, we didn't sleep We didn't. We didn't yeah. We drank it alive. I love that you're making excuses for me <laughs> to make me feel better. God, I'm not usually this bad, but I feel like they're just, uh, uh, yeah. Please can we pray for me, guys and gals? Let, let the universe provide and be like, don't worry, Loza. This is a reminder next time. Sort your fucking life out. Okay, thank you. Oh, now I can see it on the gate. <gasps> Someone's hung it up for me. Oh my God. Thank you. I found her. Such a beautiful bottle as well. Thank the Lord. It's a good day. I'm just leaving a trail of mess, basically. She off skis. See ya. Bye, darling. Mm. Oh, God. So good to see you. And you mm. drive safe. Please have a safe travel back. Yeah, oh my God. Please look after yourself. Take it easy. Just enjoy the time while you can. Send us some photos from Shanghai. Oh my god, yeah, please do. Oh, I'll see so you in two years, see you, babe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Who honestly. Knows where? I love you. Love you too. Thank you so much for having me, darling. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Love you so much. Take care of yourself. Thank you for the jumper as well. Oh, it's yeah. a cute jumper. Bye, my love. Bye, Hannah. Guys, look at my fucking bib tan. It's the worst thing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. We got back to the flat. And I was like, should we just get our stuff and go walk the stuff back to the car instead of like getting the car and then driving the car down to the flat and then picking up my stuff? It literally looks like I haven't got any clothes on right now, but I have. It was really funny. We got back to the flat, was literally about to leave. And then I was like, wait a minute. Bearing in mind, I'd forgotten the car keys. That hence, that's the reason why we had to walk back. Then I realized that I'd left my bottle in the park, which we managed to find. Got back to the flat, got my stuff. I was like, right, let's go. I was like, actually, wait a minute. Let me just double check if I've left anything anywhere. I went into the bathroom. I'd left my toothbrush in there, my deodorant, my face cleaner. I went into the other bathroom. I'd left like all two and then the other bracelet of mine i was like oh, why am i all over the place like this it's so frustrating for me just annoying i annoy myself it's frustrating that 
I've been doing that. It was like a month or so ago. I went on a Hindu and I kept leaving my stuff in places. Luckily, one of the girls was like really on it and she was always checking the space whenever we would leave. And she checked the space and she would come out with like my phone once. She came out with my phone in her hand and then she was like, oh, came out with my jacket. I was like, oh my goodness me, thank you so much. I didn't even clock. Crazy. Anyway, okay, so I'm in Worthing. I need to drive home. It's going to take me two hours. So I'm going to be on the way because I've also got this dress fitting to go to later. So I need to get home, freshen up, and then I then will have to drive to her Reading. It was so nice to see Hannah. It was so beautiful and wholesome and just, yeah, I had loved every minute. So I'm going to get on the road now, guys, with my bib tan. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? Uh, I've just got home and I'm so tired. Um, so... I'm gonna lie down for a bit. Look at this tan line. This isn't even funny. I, I cannot. I hate tan lines and I have got a bad one. I'm so sleepy. I'm really struggling. <laughs> like I need to lie down. I need to have a lie down. Please just ignore this. Ignore this bit. This is an exciting package. What is in the package you asked? Let me show you this is what's in the package how cool oh i'm so tired i have rollerblades i'm going to start rollerblading or at least trying so this feels like my inner child is gonna be able to play and enjoy some fun shit and these are cool as fuck man look how cool they are how fucking cool they are, man. They look like trainers. They look so dope. I'm one of those people that, like, I love learning new things. I love having new hobbies and new things to do. I just like to be constantly doing stuff, apparently, even though I really enjoy resting. It's 4.35 now, and I've got to go to Goring in Reading for 6 o'clock. It literally feels like I've just got home and now I'm having to go back out again. Like, this is stressing me out. So darn tired, man. I know I look double glassy right now, but just, oh, mate, I feel friggin' knackered. But I know this is going to be really worth it. I just, I just feel tired, man. Like, very, very low energy. We're on the road again. Oh my god, it looks unreal when it's on. Oh, I can't wait to try that beautiful. one. Yeah. It's so sparkly. Mm -hmm. Exciting! Really I'm really literally so excited for you, babes. This is so these dresses. I feel emotional. I feel emotional <laughs> seeing this happen. Like, this is like actually like, oh my god, this is actually happening. This is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of today's vlog. I am so unbelievably tired i literally cannot even function i literally drove back from mel's dress fitting and i was just like i was yawning so much that my jaw was starting to ache and my body just feels super achy because i haven't been that like active walking around since i had my operation so well before i had my operation so yeah i'm just super sleepy i just don't have the mental capacity for sure for social social interactions at this point i feel completely and utterly burnt out <laughs> as amazing as it was but it was just really beautiful to see mel trying on different dresses and just looking absolutely gorgeous in every single one of them that was such an amazing experience so beautiful to witness and just be a part of so i'm so glad i got to go because i wasn't going to go but i'm so glad i went even though i am completely ruined now but that is just because i've drove a lot today i've done a lot in like the past two days and I am fucked. I've got to get up for work tomorrow. I thought I needed to do this now because I was tired and I wouldn't do it tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the adventure coming along the journey. And I always love to have you here. I always love to create these videos. I'm sending you all lots of love. Stay tuned for the next video. I post weekly, so come back if you enjoyed and um it was lovely to have you here i don't know what else to say now because i'm so tired thug life joking um peace out my hombres love you all bye bye